Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn sonar cube integration with Jenkins pipeline. So let's start. So in this video we will cover some topics like what is sonar cube. After that we will see what is purpose of sonar cube integration with Jenkins pipeline. Then see a prerequisite for sonar cube integration with Jenkins pipeline. After that steps to integrate sonar cube with Jenkins. So let's start step by step. So here we start with the what is SonarCube. SonarCube is an open source platform. Everyone knows that it's an open source platform. Okay. So for continuous code quality inspection, it's a code quality inspection. <clears throat> it's Sonar analyzes the source code, detects bugs and security vulnerabilities and code smells. Helping developer maintain high quality, secure and maintainable software. Okay. So, it's integrated into development workflow allowing the team to catch issue early and ensure the better overall software quality. Okay. This is our SonarCube. So, why we use the SonarCube integration with Jenkins pipeline or what is purpose of it? So here, see here, because we have to automate the continuous code quality and security to check here. It ensures the every code changes is analyzed for your issues such as bug and security vulnerabilities as a part of your, part of your CICD process. So this integration provides early feedback to developer, enforce the coding standard and improve your overall software quality and security. Okay, that's why we are use the SonarCube integration with GenK. So let's see now prerequisite for that. So firstly, you have to install the GenK on your any OS, and after that, you have to install the same. Sonar cube on your OS. Okay, so here I have already installed it. This one is Jenkins dashboard. This is my Jenkins dashboard using public IP and 884. And this one is Sonar cube server. Okay, this is dashboard of that Sonar cube. And here I have already logged in with GitHub account with the Maven Sonar project. Okay. So here I have few files here. Okay. So see under that form.xml file, I mentioned the dependency. Okay. So our project name as a DevOps app. And under that, I declare the some plugins here. See. And main important our plugin is Sonar Maven plugin. Okay. Because we are using here Maven project. That's why I installed this Sonar Maven plugin and its version 3.7.0.71746. Okay. So under that, I mentioned the probe under the profile. So declare the activation as a true. And here you have to may under that property I mentioned the sonar host URL. So in that sonar host URL. This URL is your, this Sonar host URL. Okay, this one. So, I have already, this URL I mentioned in your form.xml. Okay, it's important part of that. Because we are, if you are not mention the Sonar host URL, then your build will fail. Okay, so make sure that it's, Correct or not? After that, go in your project on GitHub. This is my Maven project. So let's see here steps to integrate SonarCube with Jenkins. See here, install the plugins in your Jenkins server. First of all, I go on the Jenkins dashboard and for the installation plugin, you have to go inside the manage Jenkins. And here you have to go and 
plugins and search here available in that available plugins you have to search the sonar cube scanner okay this plugin you have to install it so i have already installed the sonar cube scanner plugins here sonar cube scanner for jenkin this plugin i have already installed it if you are not installed this plugin then simply you have to go on your av available plugins and search the sonar cube scanner and simply click on this install okay after that next step we have to see so configure the sonar cube in jenkin so for that configuration you again you have to go in the manage jenkin and under the system configuration you have to configure the sonar server sonar cube server so here after that you are installing sonar cube scanner then here you get the under the system configuration you get the sonar cube server okay so under that you have to set up the sonar cube installation so click on this add and here give the name as a sonar sonar cube server okay and remember that this name because we have to use in our jenkin file okay so after that here you have to write the server url of the sonar cube so this one public ip using 9000 9, port this port this url we have to copy from here and paste in here on your jenkin so this is my server url of the sonar cube after that server authentication token here you have to use sonar authentication token okay so how we can set up this so firstly you have to go on your sonar cube server and simply click on this administration and go to your my account and click on this security so here you have to generate the token so simply i use sonar token i mentioned the name of the token and select the type global analysis and simply generate this we have to copy this token because we won't be able to see again okay so let me copy this and go on your dashboard and click on this plus button here and here you get the jenkins credential provider okay click on this and domain kept as it is global credential and here in that kind you can select the secret text okay the scope i use the jenkins so that's why i kept as it is and under the secret text box we have to paste it your token okay so here sonar cube token this token i paste here and give the id for the use of that token so i use the sonar cube jenkin okay i use this sonar cube jenkin using this name i select the token okay so after that server authentication token go on that and here sonar cube jenkins recently we are set up the token then this selected okay after that simply click on this save next one this sonar cube configure sonar cube this step completed after that you have to create the jenkin pipeline so for that click on this go on your jenkin dashboard and click on this new item and create your pipeline so here i use the integrate sonar cube jenkin and select the type of project as a pipeline i go with the pipeline and click on this ok <coughs> then under this general section you have to select the github project and this github account url or your 
it's not github account url it's your github project url okay so github project url let me copy this and paste in your jenkins github project okay so project url in that i paste the, this github project url okay after that under the build trigger i all this kept as it is and go on your pipeline section under this definition i select the pipeline script from source code management scm okay so select the scm as a git and here paste the url of your github project so this project i select and paste here after that we have to no need to create give the credential here and simply the specifier branch specifier mention the branch specifier here i have master branch already master branch it then i kept as it is and under the script path i select the script path okay so what is meant by script path so let's see here here you have to add the file create new file and so see we have to write the genkill files now because we have to set the script part okay so for that <coughs> here on your github account i add the new file and give the name as a jenkin or as your requirement you can give your name and write this code like that code i will write in your this path okay so i have already write this script under this jenkin file okay see here this one okay so this is our my pipeline script so in that pipeline script i am mention the agent as a none you can mention any or as your requirement you can mention the agent and after that mention the stage under the stages i mentioned the stage as a build and sonar cube analysis under that i again mentioned the agent as a any and under this steps i mentioned the use the environment variable so with sonar cube and using this i use the sonar server so see here when we configure the sonar cube server when we configure the sonar cube server that time we are mentioned the name this name we have to mention in your environment variable okay so let's see here which name we are provide here so sonar cube server let me copy this and same it's a same name we have to provide in your this with sonar cube environment okay make sure that this name so firstly i will edit it and paste here this name okay after that using hs command i declare a maven command as a mvn clean package sonar sonar okay so let's commit the changes commit the changes and click on this save okay okay so these changes you have to make sure that because you have to ensure that sonar sub scanner tool is correctly set up in your jenkin configuration okay so now let's see here use the part of that your jenkin file so uh, okay. this part i will copy from here and paste in your script part okay so this one and simply click on this save button and now last step you have to run the jenkin pipeline so for that run click on this build now under this build history you have to create it you see you can see here create a build first okay so go inside that click on this console output and see here our build will run
<coughs> after the jenkin file you commit and you trigger your jenkin job and this pipeline will automatically fetch your code okay so it built it and this year our build success okay now you have to see your sonar cube go to your project and refresh this and see here your sonar cube project analyze here okay so from here you can analyze the sonar cube project so here we have do, don't have any bug vulnerability okay we have code smell too like that you can analyze it if you are go inside that and you can see in detail okay like that so in this way we were learn sonar cube integration with jenkin pipeline okay so thank you for the watching video